G'day everyone, it's uh, Jaya here from The Jade Rat and thank you for watching this video. Um, uh, I'm sorry I haven't posted in a while and it's actually because I went to uh, Canada and the United States for a holiday after my graduation which was in May and I was supposed to um, film some videos and upload them and uh, things just got busy and I wasn't able to do that. So. During my travels in these um, uh, two really massive countries, um, I didn't actually spend that much time in America um, as I had been there before, but I went to Canada for the first time and I saw a lot of interesting things. So today I thought I would share with you um, sort of the interesting things I found along the way. and. Of course, there's stores and uh, art supplies that are harder to get in Australia. Um, and I got uh, a lot of those things and uh, that's what I'll be showing you today. So, uh, first and foremost, the most exciting thing for me to get was watercolours. So, I got a couple of tubes of watercolours um, from a store called Michael's. Arts and Crafts, I believe is the name, um, and I found these on clearance, and they were they were pretty cheap um, considering the conversion rates and everything. And uh, there were some Windsor and Newton artist watercolors, and this one is in permanent magenta, brown matter, manganese blue hue, green gold. Which in the camera looks like yellow, but it's actually more of an olive colour. Permanent alizarin crimson. Naples yellow, or Napoli yellow as I like to call it. Raw umber. Davies grey. And those were the uh, Windsor Newton watercolours that I had uh, purchased. And I also got um, these... Daniel Smith uh, Extra Fine Watercolor uh, Dot Card um, and there's 66 colors here uh, so 6 rows of 11 and they've got these um, pearly iridescent sort of colors here and um, I have, a, have another dot card and I have one single Daniel Smith color um, and so I thought I'd try these out and see how they go and I also got the what the uh, Sakura Koi watercolors uh, in the 24 pack um, and the pocket sketch box which has the half pans 24 colors uh, two sponges and um, a water brush so uh, I'll probably see how that goes uh, Sakura Koi um, watercolors are a bit harder to find in Australia so that was very exciting to get and then of course we have the paper so these uh, this paper I purchased um, from an independent art store in Toronto and it is in the uh, 4x6 uh, inch size and it's a cold press watercolor in 300 GSM and here it wasn't it wasn't that uh, expensive actually um, and I thought I'd try these out because it's a block and I n normally don't use blocks I use uh, pads but here you can see it's sealed and then I also got of the same type cold press a 6x6 six six block as well and from the same st store and it's very interesting to see how that'll come out. And finally, in the uh, watercolour paper section, perhaps there's one more, is the uh, Strathmore watercolour cards. Let's see, here we go. And it is acid free and it, there's 10 cards and it comes with an, uh, envelopes as well. And acid free 
and you can use them to uh, paint cards and maybe sell them, um, perhaps. Uh, and the size is uh, five by six and seven quarters, or seven eighths, or uh, twelve by twelve point seven by seventeen point four centimeters. And then. I also got uh, out of curiosity, and it's a little bit banged up because I had to carry it all the way from Toronto for like three weeks across Canada. Um, this a uh, cartooning speedball uh, set, which has two pen holders of different sizes, the large size and the smaller size, um, and six nibs. So this I'm really interested to try out because I do have um, a dip pen. But I am not very good with the calligraphy side of it. And to sort of go with that, I got a bottle of Indian ink, just a standard bottle. Um, I got this from a store called Opus uh, Art Supplies, I believe is the name. And I got this in Vancouver. So I also bought this box of. Chroma Artist Acrylics um, and this is their, their, their card that I got and they create uh, acrylic paints, like professional acrylic paints are uh, in locally in Vancouver in the um, uh, Granville Island public market area and they create these uh, acrylic paints in, in store and you can see behind the counter there's like a glass and all the machines and you can see how they're making it and this is actually um, got a, a five color set and this was a $30 Canadian and it has a black, white uh, and red, yellow, blue so your five basic colors and I'm really keen to try this out because I'm not very good with uh, acrylic paint, so it's a good thing to try out. I also got these watercolour paper, it's a Strathmore Vision watercolour paper in the 140 pound or 300 GSM uh, weight and it's it's made in the USA, whoops, it's made in the USA, which is very exciting because I have never seen this paper before and so you can't probably get it in Australia and it is a pad and it's a pad and it's got this lovely smooth paper and I'm also really excited to try that out and it's thick it's quite um, dense compared to other watercolor papers also from uh, Michaels is Cardstock, so I got three, three things of three packets of cardstock: um, cream, white, and black. Um, and that's been really good because once again, cardstock is a bit different here. Yeah. And finally, in the sort of miscellaneous section, um, I got this book. Which is the Mists of Avalon by Marion Zim Branley. And it's uh, hard to find in Australia and it's a bit expensive when you order it online. So um, I got this in Toronto and it's a little bit banged up because I had to um, keep it in my bag the whole time. But I'm excited to read that one. And I also got from Michael's this, uh, I think, for $17. It's a, a six-piece jewellery tool set and it's got a bunch of different pliers. It's got a, a bent nose pliers, long nose pliers, um, wire cutters and your standard uh, flat and round nose pliers here and calipers, plastic calipers. Um, and although I don't think I'll be using those because I have digital calipers at home. but. Um, I used to do jewellery making when I was a very early teenager and I used to sell them and, and I got um, quite a lot of interest going 
due to this uh, sort of beaded jewelry making. So I'm really interested to get back into that. And finally, um, I acquired some a painting I got in Alaska. Uh, I bought some art prints. So this is a uh, eight by ten size print um, called Denali Summer, and it's by a local uh, Alaskan artist. Um, and I think it's really important, especially when you go travelling, to to support these artists. And I got another print uh, for free. Let's see if I can show you. Um, by someone called Linda Lekinf. Um and it's a, it's a nice little print here. And uh, all of these will really you know, add a lot of inspiration and uh, something interesting to look at and remind you of where we went. So that's it. Um, sorry for rambling, but that's it. That's what I. Uh, experience in terms of um, painting and books during my travels and I thought I'd share with you and hopefully um, in the near future I like to do an unboxing for this a chroma acrylics and I do a little bit of a you know first impressions and painting of it because I'm not very good at acrylics so um, I'd like to see how it goes uh, thank you so much for uh, tuning in and um, you can follow me on social media and subscribe and whatever if you want um, otherwise don't worry it's okay and uh, I also uh, fixed up some bugs in my website that I think allow you to place orders on the shop so if you're in Australia and you're interested in getting some uh, greeting cards handmade original greeting cards here's what they look like something has fallen uh, here's what they look like um, and these are just greeting cards so I think they're about two or three dollars and they're, they're handmade original and they're blank so they come with an envelope and they've been signed by me in my dodgy handwriting um, so if you're interested, check that out on my shop at uh, thejaderat.com. Um, other than that, I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye.